Yo, another Soviet heavy tank. This is the Object 780 Tier 10 heavy tank. Every day we are inching closer towards the perfect tank game that has ever been made. The, the absolute most important thing we need is another heavy tank in Tier 10. If you are here for the first time, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below let wargaming know what you think they do read uh, all the they do read all the comments and they scour the internet for uh, your opinions so leave a comment in the comment section below this is this is a tier 10 heavy tank from the soviet union it's crazy looking i don't know what kind of tank it's gonna be but it's definitely going to be a clan wars reward tank obviously right only makes sense but anyway i'm gonna put it up against the object 277 now we all know the 279e is the big daddy the king of uh tier 10 heavies anyway there is no point comparing it to a 279e because it'll lose to a 279e okay let's just you know get it out of the way let me be straightforward with you uh there's no way it's gonna have any chance against a 279e or a chieftain but the next best thing is a 277 so let's put it up against a 277 um basically everything on this tank is slightly worse than the 277 uh, i'm just gonna be straight up with you get that out of the way so you save like five minutes of your time and you can stop watching the video now but if you want to carry on there is one little thing that sets this tank apart makes it a little bit better than the 277 in one small particular way and we'll get to that immediately uh in a in a in a few minutes anyway but we're talking about 263 penetration on standard ap shells uh almost the same as the 277 277 of course has 265 penetration um but we are uh, talking about a terrible uh premium shell penetration premium shell is apcr but it's only 305 penetration most tier 10 tanks uh, heavy tanks anyway got about 340 penetration uh, i think only the uh only the is7 has worse penetration with its heat shells i think or is it apcr on the premium shells uh, the premium shells is APCR, but only 303 penetration on the IS-7. So that's the only tank that this tank beats um, in terms of penetration. Uh, if you compare it to the 277, of course, 340 penetration on the 277. You can't beat the 277 in terms of, uh, you know, premium shells penetration. Uh, rate of fire... 4.38 shells per minute reload time 13.71 seconds that's why i say it's no match for a 279 279 under 10 seconds object 277 12 seconds this is a whole 1.71 second more reload time more time it takes to shoot an enemy so what is so good about this tank well not much is that great uh, well shell velocity 1030 but so is everyone else um not a big of a deal but the aim time that's what you're gonna get with this tank 1.92 seconds of aim time which is a lot better than a 2.59 seconds of a 277 and even better than a 279 in terms of aim time so you get a little bit of obviously this is a soviet heavy tank so you're gonna get a bit of uh, turret protection here we're talking about um turret protection 300 millimeters in the front sloped on the side is 200 millimeters that's really good i mean it's not like it's not like in the you know it's not like a 279 kind of turret but it's slightly better than a 277 frontally anyway uh 300 millimeters of armor in the front so you've got a little bit of hull down and you've got good aim time so the aim time of this tank is what's going to set it apart from the rest of the tanks uh, the hull armor uh on the other hand is absolutely trash only 100 millimeters even though it's crazily sloped and it's got like a really skinny stance it looks like a t22 kind of hull a v-shape hull or whatever hull it is it's got a really thin thin hull 
so it's really sloped so maybe that 100 millimeters is not going to matter because it is so sloped it's going to bounce everything i don't know about that yet we're gonna we're gonna see when it comes out i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get one of those rental tanks and i will be able to make a video for you guys and tell you exactly how i think about the tank but the that's what the initial stats say 100 millimeters of armor in the front hull 277 has 140 millimeters so maybe it's the sloped angle here that's going to be really good for the object 780 no, i'm not too sure about it but in terms of mobility 50 kilometers an hour going forward uh object 277 has 55 kilometers an hour going forward object 260 has 60 kilometers an hour going forward they all go reverse at 15 kilometers an hour so in terms of reverse it's the same in terms of forward slightly slower than the 277 um the power to weight ratio however is exactly the same as a 277 so you can expect slightly less in terms of uh, mobility compared to a 277 so slightly less mobility than a 277 um, pretty good hull down in terms of turret armor and really good aim time 1.92 seconds a lot better than a 277 or a IS-7 for that matter or in Object 260. Uh, again, um, that's the Object 780 for you. I'm sure it's a Clan War reward tank. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let Wargaming know what you think about this tank. Is it bullshit? Is it balanced? But uh, we're going to pick out a winner right now from last year's, uh, uh, last week's uh, CAX reward. Now, I got one tank to give away. It's a CAX or a Centurion Action X, uh, sorry, Centurion RACC. I could have kept it for myself, but I decided to give it to you guys. So let's roll the dice and see who the random winner is going to be. It is going to be Ryuk Dane. Please get in touch with me. Um, and then we'll figure out a way to get this tank over to you um, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video remember to smash the like button if you enjoyed this uh, video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one bye bye